Hey guys and welcome to Crystal Little TV. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I slayed this crochet look and uh, literally went from this to this. Okay, okay. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna be moisturizing my hair, making sure that it's all moisturized and all just, you know, just drenched in oils. Now I'm gonna be just combing out my hair to make sure it's all fluffed out. And now, <laughs> I saw this in a movie once, guys. Okay, all right, hocus pocus. Yes, girl, you better. Uh-huh, what, 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 what? Okay, okay, all right. We about to start this hairstyle. We about to start this hairstyle. So this braiding pattern is definitely not my best work, but you know what? It's okay, and it'll do for this, this, this hairstyle. It'll work, it'll be fun. So guys, the gag is, the plot twist is, the problem is that your girl got played and I bought the wrong hair. I literally walked into the beauty supply store trying to go buy another type of hair and I accidentally bought the soft baby curls. So that's what I'm just gonna have to rock with and we'll just see if it comes out right. And y'all, the height of the betrayal was the fact that the receipt said no returns or exchanges. Chai! It was honestly very painful. All right, so like I said before, I got the free chest braid soft baby curl in the color 27. I was trying to get the like wand curl one, but it's okay. It's okay. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. As you can see, these curls are lovely. But will they look right on my head? That's the real question. That's the real question, okay? Exhibit A, now let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the back of my head a little bit. I kind of move around through this whole process, but if you want to see me do a detailed step-by-step -step beginner's, you know, literally toolkit to doing crochet, I will make sure to link my videos in the description bar below. So make sure you check them out, y'all, because they are really helpful and they will help you kind of put this whole style together on your own. So don't miss it on the opportunity. As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun, but I'm just going to keep on going through my hair um, individually and doing my crochet parts, making sure that it's exactly where I want them to be. Anyway, so as you can see, there is some fluff and some frizziness starting to happen. A tip that I really would recommend is that you do not separate the hairs. So the hair comes in a pack of different strands, like multiple strands. So I would say do not separate them. Just take them out as they've been manufactured. Like don't rip them apart. Actually, just like use the ones that the company has given you. Okay, use the ones that you've been given. So that's what I did. Of course, I did make some mistakes sometimes by touching them too much, and it did fluff up just a little bit, but it wasn't too bad, so I mean, it, it's fine. Another tip that I would give during this process would be that if you make a mistake, honestly, just backtrack. Just backtrack. You'll be fine. Um, it's really not hard to backtrack, but I'd rather backtrack than have a piece of hair in that's not fully in god forbid it fall out in public or just a piece of hair that just tangled you know in my scalp because i was being too lazy to redo it or take the hair out and kind of slow down to figure the process back out so i would definitely advise backtracking if you need to which i had to do a couple of times in this video as well so we are almost done the plantain is ripening. <laughs> Let me stop before I make myself hungry. So as you can see, I'm kind of needing to put one more piece of hair there. And to my surprise, there was one on the ground. So I put that in and it just kind of made it look perfectly full, which was pretty awesome. Yes, 
sis. The beauty supply is not owe me anything. Yes, unless the style messes up in about a week. But yes, if not, they owe me nothing. The style looks so good. It looks so full and I love it. So I did end up deciding to cut it a little bit just to make it look more full. I love fuller looking hair just to give it more of a rounded afro kind of look. I just wanted to kind of cut a little bit and I got kind of got a little scissor crazy. But I didn't do too much. I didn't do too much, guys. I didn't do too much. <laughs> So now, as you can see, this is my invisible part. It looks pretty natural. Um, I go into more detail in other videos, so check those out as well. So yeah, now your girl's feeling herself. Don't even have my makeup on yet, but it's cool. So let me share a quick story with y'all. So I'm from Texas, and it is hot out here. It is hot out here. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to dress fall weather into existence. And to my surprise, a cold front hit a y'all it was winter weather <laughs> like not even fall but winter but you know what it's better than the heat so hey what's up what's popping winter sleigh bells ring are you listening in the land snow is glistening so this is my finished look y'all in fact when a man of god looks at you let him say for you i will slay two goliaths no one no but two goliaths girl bride price has increased if it didn't already increase it has gone up tenfold by now it has just increased if mine hadn't been paid already it would have increased in fact eh my own unborn daughter's bride price has increased anyways guys i enjoyed making this video make sure you leave a comment below let me know what you think let me know how you feeling about the style yes girl you better you better feel yourself yes girl you better act like you are shooting for the cover of vogue magazine yes let me know how you're feeling about the style. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in a future video coming up sometime soon. Maybe so, possibly. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.